Let's go ahead and count it down. Three, two, one, Tetris. Oh, we got to bring back our original music. People don't want to hear this. They want to hear our traditional music, CTM. There it is. So Cam is uh, blurry? Uh, that's on his side. It's crying? <laughs> happy. Yep. A lot of blurry cams for a Joseph. Happened at CTWC too, so maybe it's a thing. Yeah, this is jo this is Joseph's. Uh, this is his cam, not not, not anything on our side. Just a for, defeats facial res recognition, apparently. <laughs> or maybe that's just how he looks now. You know, as people get older, they get awkward looking. Yeah. You know, you think, oh, they're such a cute kid, and then this happens. People start to get cataract blurry. Cataract strats. <laughs> Oh, this isn't even Joseph's final form. Oh. <laughs> Hell of an L spin there from Joseph. All right, I, se 72,000. Ah, still... You can't do those? I can't. I, I know it's Blue Jay. Yeah. Because, you know, Trump. Because, but I never. You've got it. You do. I still right. hold my hand up in front of me, like with an L and a backwards L. So I know which one is the L. And then I, I don't know. Oh, whoops. Another spin. Joseph is showing off. All right. But, but we have a tie game at 30 lines. You'd expect in a final one versus two, the mega powers collide. SA versus Great Britain. Joseph with the few push down points. And he's still trying to adjust the autofocus while playing. Wow. Uh, ever the showman. You know, we really appreciate it. And there he is. Of course, you know. Green tea moment, like getting uh, <laughs> changing the controller out in the middle of your speed run. <laughs> 214 for Joseph now after a Tetris. 236, 195 for Richard. Richard getting a little sawtooth there. He's going to be okay. He's down about a Tetris. Kind of an awkward setup here for Richard, so it's going to take some burn down. Joseph with a 62,000 point lead. Turnating burn shelves, as they are called in Jonas's stream. I still don't get that reference, but I'll use it if people understand what it means. You know, there's, there's a lot uh, there's a lot in this world that I don't understand, you know, so I, I just tend to let it go. <laughs> Go with the flow. 312 for Joseph. 273 after a Tetris for Richard. Joseph in the awkward build stage. And, you know, both of these players, uh, you know, they have played uh, kind of friendlies versus uh, each other. I in, remember one, yeah. In Joseph's stream. So they are familiar with one another. Um, of course, those are friendly matches. And this, you know, there's so much at stake here, of course. CTM championship. So, you know, they really want to win. And you can, uh, you know, so they, they're, they're, all the gloves are off. But you know that each of them knows that the other one can play super aggressively, hit kill screens, max out any moment. So you're just wondering how all that shakes out in the context of a real match, right? Do you go all out aggressive? Do you, uh, do you assume like you're like, you know, is your opponent, does he know that you know that he's going to go all ag aggressive? So you kind of tamp, uh, temper some of the aggression. It's kind of yeah. a, a, a boxing match that happens throughout the, uh, throughout the match. All thousand. Well, no, now about a one and a half Tetris lead for Richard Joseph with the weirdest cap on his right side. But again, don't ever question. He's uncapped. He's Tetris. <laughs> oh, dog, I heard you like classic Tetris. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Love it. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> All right, 452 hope, for Joseph, 466 Richard. 
Joseph with that spire in the middle. You hate, you know, and he's like, whatever. Yeah. What spire? What are you talking just, about? I know. It's just, like, you don't just, do that, but he does that. And yeah, then just, like, it just what? evaporates. My God. Transition at 523 for Joseph Saley, who is using the pushdown again like he did in the semifinals. Rich is still 14 lines away from transition. Real interesting weapon for Justice Plava's arsenal for this tournament. The pushdown. Really, the pushdown out of nowhere. Well, all right. What would be the advantage of doing it? Make Maybe your opponent just, play from behind? Psychological, for sure. Mm -hmm. Ruthless. Or knowing those extra points are going to come into play. Well, that's true. With both of these players able to play past kill screen, you know, we have had matches that were determined by, you know, points that were scored in the kill screen. Richard's transition, but he is being droughted heavily right now. He's capping off as well. But he's trying to stay Tetris ready. He does. He's rewarded. A little survival there for Richard. He's, but he's now down 100, so, oh man, nearly 200,000 points now. Tetris at a time, he's going to climb out of this. He's also down 20 lines. We'll fix it in post, Samantha and Trey. Sorry, it said semifinals at the bottom. No. <laughs> Joseph, it's 778. Tetris, he's down 120,000, but also behind two levels. So really, just don't think about the score if you're Richard. Just think about scoring. You never know. You just let Joseph play his game. Just forget about it. Yeah, this is a very similar scenario to when Richard uh, beat Corian when you know he was just like far behind, but back a couple of levels and just played from behind the entire game until the very end. Joseph flipped the wrong way on his T-spin. Interesting. Yeah. But 858, level 26. Yeah, 725 at 182 for Richard. Richard's in cleanup mode. And it gets a long bar down there just to get some material. Oh, it's setting oh. up for the Tetris. Oh, Very aggressive. aggressive. I love it. Love it. Oh, and no. Peace off. That's insane. I hate that. Oh like, no. He was one piece away. He would have that would have been the perfect play. But and you know, back by 25 lines with with Joseph sort of approaching kills, you know, quote kill screen. You wonder how necessary it was to be that aggressive in that moment. No, but that's the psychological part that Yep. We don't explore it very much. I don't see. Yeah, well, I didn't say it was unnecessary. I said I wondered how necessary. Richard, Richard said it. Richard, yeah. <laughs> That's your opinion. Richard fighting with people in chat. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> He's right in the middle of his match, the finals, fighting with people in chat. All right. We got to time Richard out. Stamped up. All right. We got a ready from Richard, and we need a ready from JD if we don't already have one. Three. Nope. Yes, no. Uh, yeah, we are ready. 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 Yep. He's ready. Three, two, one, go. Sure, Jello. <laughs> Off we go. Fifty three points, sixty five. 72. Call this JD FX2 with this new press down method. Yeah, is this even the real Joseph? We know Harry Hong Larry Long. So, what is this alter ego? There's a lot of Joseph there's Saylor. a lot of alter egos floating around classic Tetris online right now, so could be anyone. 
You don't know. We see him with a mustache and wig next month, we're in trouble. <laughs> All right, Richard, fighting above the next box here. Oh, man. Needed that long bar pretty bad. Needs an LJ. Or that. Or a T. <laughs> is the best piece in the game. My favorite is when I'm like, oh, he needs this, and then they never get it, and they're totally fine. Like, he did not. Solve it with another. Yeah, he hell, solved hell it. Like... Of a rescue. Yeah, you bet. Way to go, Richard. One piece too late. It's open. Give it to him. Come on. Come on, game. There it is. Boom. 100,000 points already. That's why he's actually neck and neck because he's been playing so high. It's a way to counter Joseph. <laughs> pressing down at the play on the top half of the screen <laughs> that's right see, see how well that works for you <laughs> Ooh, a little adjustment from richard that was interesting man just piling pieces up on the left waiting for the one he likes it's a beast mode we'll have to come up with some name for this new style of play he's coming he's using today I don't know if he's going to use it in the future, but <laughs> only something to talk about. Yeah, geez. 287 for Joseph, now 309, and 234 for Richard. So 75,000 points, three and a half Tetrises. Joseph Tetrises, though, now 100,000 point lead, roughly. Boards for both players. Grow adjustment by Richard. Two burn solve. Off to the well you go. Two in a row. Now you're down 90,000 points, virtually even pace. <laughs> My God, the world champ. Poor Sue is sick. Mm -hmm. She wants to watch Richard versus Joseph, but she is sick and sneezing. So every, oh, the whole chat said, bless you. Oh, it's very sweet. No, oh, she's leaving. Don't leave. No, I just I snotted on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be close. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll fix that in post. Hang with a beautiful and dirty. Oh, was that a sneeze and a mist drop by Richard? <laughs> Did you transmit the virus across the ocean through the S internet? Well, sneezes and yawns, right? Contagious. But Sue. <laughs> Joseph Saley is just tearing it up again. And Richard hasn't been playing terrible, but... If, if he does better post-transition, get to the transition and let it play out. Look at this. He's going to cross. He's got two more Tetrises before transition for Joseph. It's going to be at the 650 range, 640. A oh, missed drop by Richard. around that oh Joseph transitions but that's ugly hey, Tetris ready boom Tetris for Joseph relation Tetris there Line is going to be problem for Joseph. That could open the door for Richard here. Well, as the 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 cleanup well is open for Joseph. It's six ninety with one fifty six lines. Richard is clean, looking for a long bar. Boom. 
Yeah, so 14 line differential for these guys, which is about three and a half Tetrises, but 150,000 point lead. So really at this point, Richard's got to hope that Joseph just gets stuck burning or something happens, but. Joseph's in, in, in suffer mode right now. It's, it's, it's not Tetris ready by any means. And again, neither is Richard, so. No, he is right, now. Richard's Tetris ready. He's still got a piece to work with on the bottom. Richard just needs that long piece, and he there it is. There's one. He can get another one real quick. It'd be great for him, and he gets it. All right, so ninety thousand points. Ninety thousand, but he's down ten lines. So a virtual tie, not quite like a bowling score, maybe. Yeah, I mean, he's still got to score those points. That's the thing. Let's give you them. Joseph's clean out. Back to 150,000 point lead. Yeah. Now he could have uh, 900,000 before 200 lines, which sure. would be. 746 at 182 is pretty good. Yeah. Joseph's going to max out here unless he screws up. All right, another Tetris for Richard. All right, one Tetris away for Joseph for a million points. It's a lot of points. Richard. Okay, he's still Tetris ready, gets it. 828 at 200 lines. The 996 at the moment. 990, there's the million and a Tetris on top. 10 lines to go. Three, five million, or, yeah. And there's the Tetris. The one point one for Joseph. Thank God. Richard though. Another Tetris for Joseph. Doing some kill screen theatrics. Point one five. Or Tetris to go for Richard. He'll get the max. So how long can he go? Oh, and it's not getting fabulous pieces here. Piece to the left. And I love that we're still having to talk about, like, well, he might be able to get, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, it's insane. Wow. And not quite there. Just the 1.025 to Joseph's 1.15. 1, 7 combined. 2.17 combined. I think new world record. Pretty sure. <laughs> we'll max outs all across the sky. Amazing. I mean, world records just follow this guy around. Come on. You were expecting this coming into this match, weren't you? I mean, that's why we're not jumping up and down right now. Yeah, I think there's like sort of unofficial world records that happen when two players just kind of hang out on their channel. But in terms of like competitions that are like pre-scheduled where, where there's a winner at the end, probably world record. Oh my God. <laughs> what a game. So now Joseph has game to nothing lead. Yeah, really. Richard needs to work on his level 29 play if he wants to hang. <laughs> Get good, son. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. And, and again, a situation where a max up a max out loses. So this is the third or fourth time now in CTM history that, go that ahead has and give happened. JD his heart there. Oh yeah, he deserves it. <clears throat> All right. Well, we got a ready from both players. So, Chris, if you want to go ahead and count this one down, Joseph's right. up two games to none. Richard needs to a reverse sweep if he wants to win this one. Game at a time here. In three, two, one, Tetris. Wonder after a game like that how much time you need to recover. Well, there's a 
miss uh, by Richard. He's going to tuck that out of trouble. He's probably going to make a right well, maybe. Nope, he's going to fill it in. Again with the press down. Have, I don't watch Joseph stream all the time. I kind of catch the highlights when he hits records and stuff. Mm -hmm. How long has he been working on this press down stuff? It just seems to sort of come out. I, I haven't really seen it all that much, to be honest, from him. And uh, it's not standard for hyper tappers to do that, although some do. Always a new challenge, a new horizon. He's Tetris Ryu. <laughs> Again, yeah, it, right in, now. interesting question is Joseph tapping down or is he holding down? <laughs> <laughs> he's hyper tapping you down the, you don't get the points then I think the moment you let go it resets the point yeah. counter <laughs> Yeah, I mean, either it's something like a timing thing where, you know, you're just kind of, you know, these guys are probably used to like a level 19 kind of speed, which is what a press down is. Or it's just like psychological to get ahead and make the other guy play from behind, which I think provably is more difficult. Um, you know, it used to be, oh boy, my opponent is topped out. Now I need, now I know exactly what I need to get as if that's an advantage, but I just don't see that that's an advantage. I just in, in countless times seeing that, uh, for the many matches that I've seen, I just don't see it's an advantage. And it's kind of a disadvantage. Perry Hong won the goddamn world championship pressing down. So you hate to just dismiss it out of hand. Mm -hmm. So, but then other players have learned to, I mean, he's had so many of those comeback losses when he's been ahead, but people have chased him down. Right. But again, those don't happen in early rounds. Those happen later on when you're facing top-notch competition. So you, there's, you can't quantify it. I, I'm a big fan of letting players play where they're comfortable. If you're comfortable, you're playing your best. You know, sometimes I forget I have a mouse. And so I could like literally just point to stuff on screen like, hey guys, look at this. I don't think people want that, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe in replays, that'd be nice. Yeah. That's the one thing that'd be nice in Classic Tetris. Uh, CTWC would be replayability, but... Yeah. We're we... already stressed, strapped for time, but that, that'd be that'd be super cool in post or something. But... So we have that ability now? I just need another person here with me in order to make that happen, because like I can barely hold this together with me, like, add sure, replays sure. into it. But yeah, we have uh, we figured out how to do it. We just got to make it happen. Seen Sharky's work with I like the little piece uh, draw the, the the I don't know what you'd want to call that telestrator piece oh, telestrator. Oh, he's got like a telestrator. That's fun. Like pieces, like the hypothetical moves. Well, here we go again. JDMFX underscore two with his new press down strat is at ninety nine lines and four hundred fifty thousand. Is at 300,084 lines. Mm. 140,000 point lead, but it's also a 12 line lead. It's definitely a lead there for Joseph. Richard is not Tetris ready. That's going to widen. holes are going to frustrate a Tetris I mean, he's going to finish off one hole he gets the pieces which he does not well Joseph again no sophomore slump after his 1.1 max out he's at 558 pre-transition Richard is holding back a bit with those two rows of trash he's working on top of. Yeah, really a suffer game when he doesn't want it. Oh. 
he's gonna and transition is soon, so it's it's clean or die situation. All right, Richard's Tetris ready. And out of trouble, he's at one. He's at transition at three hundred ninety thousand points. So, playing, you never know what's going to happen, but it's going to take an awful lot of work to catch up to Joseph right now. This dirty Tetris will help if he can get the line piece. Going to get it. This game. All right, got it. Yeah, this is uh, quite a lead for Joseph at this point, and really oh, all Richard can do is just try to play as aggressively as he can, put on as many points as he can, and then just hope tragedy befalls Joseph. But he's got an 820. Joseph, that is, look at that spire for Joseph. Oh, That's no. danger zone. <gasps> and he's not going to be able to clear this away because Gosh. of all the weight that he's got on that gap. All right, Richard. You're down 300,000 plus, oh, but Joseph's no. going to top out. Okay, so Joseph tops out at 824. Richard needs to get to 825. So he's going to have to have the post-transition uh, of his life here. He can do it. He's only at level 21. Yeah, he's, he's got he's got enough time, but he needs go. to really go, go, go. Just keep playing. You got this. 825 is the target. Now we got some trouble brewing. All right. He's open. Give him the piece now. Uh, yeah. Got it. He got it. He got it. Okay. All right. That triple takes a lot of pressure off, but now he's going to need to score. And all Joseph can do is watch and wait. Still at 24. He's still got 50 lines. Come on, game. Got it. Got it. Wow. Nice. And he's going to clear this away. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. He had a chance. He was within striking distance. Whoa. Needed about 150,000 points. And I thought he was going to put that J over to the left. And I think he tried to. Uh, me too. And I don't, I don't know what happened. But that means Joseph is going to get the heart in a sweep of Richard. And Joseph Saley, JDMFX underscore, he is our first winner of 2020 here, January 2020, Classic Tetris Monthly Masters event. He has no prom to get to. Whatever, he's here. So there he is. Congratulations to you, Joseph. Game. Uh, I don't know if you want it. If you want to jump in our term tournament commentary stream, you can, and we can talk to you, or you can just be quiet and wave to us. It's up to you. Whatever. If you want to do that, that's totally fine. Man, there he is. What a game! So wow. I mean. You know, rolled through. Uh, who did he roll through? Let's take one last look at our bracket here. Rolled through uh, Jeff Moore. Boom Tetris for Jeff. Uh, through newcomer Eric ICX. And uh, through Matt Martin, fifth place finisher in this uh, this year's uh, CTW, well, last year's CTWC, I guess. And through Richard, one of the best players in the world. So JD continuing his string of dominance. And he is a winner for the third time here in CTM to last year defeat defeated Corian twice and Richard twice so congratulations to you uh, I want to thank uh, all of our great viewers uh, I want to thank all of our too many moderators to name too many people really to name Adam Trey and Vince of course uh, who else I want to thank all of our wonderful players who else do I really want to thank God this is an ama I, incredible tournament uh, lived up to the hype, and I just want you all to know 
that again these players are not invited here this is not invitation only these players qualify voluntarily they just come out of nowhere and they qualify for our events and they show up in the masters event and it could be you all you've got to do is go to our discord server there we had a hundred different people qualifying and playing in our events this month and it could be you and this thing grows because people want to play uh, and so we, if you have an, uh, just a tiny little desire inside of you to want to play in this kind of thing, our tournaments go all the way from people scoring 1.2s to scoring 79,000 points. So there is a place for you and that goes for you too there, Chris Bidwell. So get off your ass and get involved in this. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Come oh, on already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, a, well, if, if, JD's there. Just want to ask him one question. What, what talk, talk about your press down play? What what started this? <clears throat> Is this your new style? Was this an experiment for the month? Just give us a little bit of insight on that. And yeah. we'll stop there with the questioning since you're just typing and can't get on. Yeah. Why are you pressing down? Or is it a secret? That's what we want to know. Oh, wait. He's in the chat. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me give him a roll. Let me give him a roll here. Your roll. Yeah. Let me give him a roll. Um, let's see. I can get him in here. Just one second. I didn't know if he was going to join or not. So let's add, uh, all right, hold on one second. We're getting him in here and he can view the channel. He can connect and speak. And so he should be in. Joseph, are you here? And he's muted. Why are you muted? Uh, I don't know why he's muted. Keep hearing blings. You hear blings? I don't hear any. I have them turned off. Hey, Joseph, I, if you can hear us, I don't think you're muted in our server now. So if you're muted, it's on your side. But you have, permi <laughs> you have permission to talk in here. Hey, I don't hear him. All right. Maybe just type out the answer then, just because that's the that's the one burning question I think everybody has. Oh, he can't join. Oh, you have permission to join. Well, let's jump in. Uh, talk to people. Oh, I don't know, because then we'll get all the we'll get all the people. Yeah, he has permission to to talk in here, so I don't know why. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, you're def you definitely have permission to be in here, and you are not muted. And I've unmuted him. He's not muted at all. I can mute and unmute him, but... All right. Okay, I think... Hey, there oh, he is. There he is. Right okay, there you go. Champ. Hey, there you are. Thanks, Chris, for coming on. Shoot, wasting your entire Saturday on this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know, dude. This, like I said before, I'm, I'm going to um, Grateful Dead this stuff this year, so... Yeah, I'm I heard about that. All the regionals, and let's 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 go. There you go. I love that. So, you let's what the press down. Let's let's give me the history. What's going on? The press down? No, no, no. This is literally like yeah. something I just I, I don't even do it seriously. Like in my actual play, just beat the number two player in the world theoretically, <laughs> three to nothing with the press down. Is this just what are you playing with? It? I know, I'm starting. I'm starting to think about it, but I think it's just I, I got really lucky with RNG. Like if we had like same pieces or something like that, I don't. I don't think I would like. I don't know. Be as close, but hey, definitely. We're, now we're doing the timid strats here. But, <laughs> But you, you, you scored a one-two, and then you were on pace for another million. But man, I know I didn't like, even know what to say. Hey, here people. In the oh no, I'm cutting well, out. I mean, no, nope, you're good. You got any questions, Vandy? Well, yeah. I mean, listen, you were uh, inspired to play this whole thing uh, by watching the Boom Tetris for Jeff uh, meme video, and then all of a go. sudden he's your round one opponent. Like, how cool is that? Like you. I know, that is like, I don't know, it's too surreal, like, I haven't even processed it. I'm probably going to be, like, crying tonight, but no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Nothing cool. Yet. Yeah, uh, but uh, what was the toughest uh, game you had to play? Was it Richard? Sorry? What was the toughest game you had to play tonight? Obviously Richard, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Richard's definitely, like, he could, uh, it's definitely just a coin flip. 
when it comes to like the two of us or like anyone really this entire tournament was really just a coin flip like you had a, like many upsets within you know the bracket and you know jake went out <laughs> early yeah. as well and i was kind of like wow and, and like 900k minimum even to get in so like skill know, gap definitely. is like not that big between players even though uh and then hey tell us about your recent 1.3 and like oh. what what's up with that <laughs> what do you want me to say i mean <laughs> you just did it i just did it i know i don't know what to say crap and, yeah uh, but people should watch that video on youtube shouldn't they i know they should <laughs> yeah but, but nobody will because of terrible thumbnails yeah, definitely. <laughs> the awful right. thumbnails. I like it. Shout out to Jake for making my thumbnails, by the way. He, he's done all my thumbnail work. So far. Yeah, those are like the worst thumbnails. All right, well, congratulations to you, Joseph. Thanks again for uh, taking part. Okay, yeah, and, thank uh, you so much. And congrats to yeah no, that's awesome man it's always good to have you so uh well as i said thank you to all of our great players uh thanks to uh joseph here for coming on stream with us thanks to you chris bidwell uh super fun having you here uh and thank i you. guess we probably should throw this do you want to thank anybody chris probably not you're ungrateful <laughs> a terrible person no i'm this has been amazing i honored to be here and hope to do it again Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, I always like to raid, for the most part, small streamers. So we're going to raid somebody called Super Shocky, who has like four viewers right now. So everybody go in. And what do we want to say in the raid? Do we want to say anything in particular? What do we want to say? Sandwich. Uh, <laughs> somebody in chat is going to come up. So, uh, don't do that. Uh... Yeah, say Pog Yanni. P O G J A N I. Say that. Ready? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> wow, you get 250 points for rating? Apparently. All right, here we go. Thanks, everybody. And uh, make sure you follow Super Shocky. Bye. Girl.